Next up to the stage, who's the other two? Monica, Monica. Monica's next. Monica is up. Put your hands together for Monica, yeah. Thank you for everybody who stayed. You know what I mean? For three people. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm going to read a piece called It Takes Two, and this is dedicated to all the single mothers and a special dedication to my son. Okay, it's called It Takes Two. It takes the village to raise a ch it takes the village to raise a child. Ch child, an African proverb that we heard for a while. But doesn't every child remember their mother's grace and style? It takes a, vis a village to raise a child. Our people hear these words and their hearts do sing. But ironically, mothers get blamed for every damn thing. It takes a village to raise a child. Is it because our children are part of different institutions? Or is it a new law that should be written in the African American Constitution? It takes a village to raise a child. But the truth is, our village is corrupting and secret. Simply keeps interrupting while parents are struggling, try to reteach what the village is teaching, and then our children think we're constantly preaching. It takes a village to raise your child, but when you send your child out to your neighbor's house at your own free will, in today's world you have to worry if your child will be killed. It takes a village to raise a child, but when you send your child to church to pray, you sometimes have to worry because some of our children have been molested along that way. It takes a village to raise a child, but when you send your child out to school, you have to worry if it's the students or other teachers that have the authority and rule. It takes a village to raise a child, but when your child is out there styling, you have to worry if your child will be a victim of profiling. It takes a village to raise a child, but when you send your child down the block, you have to worry if your child will be back before the tick of the clock. It takes a village to raise a child, but when you send your child to any educational system, you have to worry if your child will become a victim. It takes a village to raise a child. This was once a beautiful African American expression, but let us remember our village has become in a state of regression. These words have meaning in a prideful nation, but can mean something different to our new generation, for it is often the village that becomes their source of condemnation. It takes a village to raise a child, but it takes two parents to uphold the strength that our children need to live as this world continues to take, as we continue to give. It takes a village to raise a child. This once was a beautiful thing, but too many of our children are being victim of census thing, slaves. It takes a village to raise a child, but I, like so many others, ask who's truly raising mine when, I seem, when it seems like I'm competing with this world all the time. And I know to raise a child, it takes a distinct two, a mom and a dad for their little first they knew. It takes a village, but it depends what village they're from. But in reality, it takes two parents to raise that daughter and son. But the village is often seeking to destroy, while terrorizing our little girl or boy. And our parents' heart has lost all its joy. The village has become a place we need to recreate as we continue to uphold the strength and our faith. It takes a village to raise a child, or maybe it does. But I know and you know we have to raise ours because that's the way it will be and the way it once was.